Hello everyone, my name is Sutton the Wolf, and welcome back to Memories Dogma Code 1. It has been literally months since I've played this. Again, I'm terribly sorry I do that with this game in particular. I don't know why. I keep putting it off at times, and it's not because I don't like it. I really do like it, but I don't know. But regardless, it has been a very long time since i played this game, and it's been a long time parts in particular since I've put out videos. Um, it's been like a month and a half. That doesn't seem like a long time, but it can be in YouTube. Um, and so I wanted to point out on this first video that there is a video that I put out on the Monday of this week that this video comes out. Um, that video explains an update about my channel in terms of scheduling, when things are going to come out, what my situation is right now, and like where I am and why I wasn't putting out videos for a while. Um, and so if you guys are curious about why things have been changing and like how they're changing, um, please check out that video. Just I don't want to waste you guys' time here um, for those of you who have already seen it um, and for those of you who don't really care as much. But regardless, um, from this point forward, um, until further notice, um, I will be doing videos of this game of Memories Dogma Code 1 once a week starting now. And that will be, what day is it today? I forget. Um, I forget off the top of my head. It was Wednesday is when this game is for. So this series will be on Wednesdays. I have to remember, it's not Wednesday today when I'm recording this, but it's going to come out on Wednesday, I think. Um, yes, that is correct. Um, and so guys who are watching this, um, and girls, look forward to seeing this on Wednesdays until further notice. So without further ado, we will get into the game. I cannot remember much of what has happened recently because it has been so long, but I'm sure it will come back to me soon enough. I do remember I am Hitoki. I am trying to find out what happened to my girlfriend who died named Sorano. Um, and we found out that there are a lot of other supernatural-esque things happening. Um, so here we go. <clears throat> Once the sun begins to set, we make our way back to the site of the accident. Caref careful to avoid anyone we saw, but... Oh boy. And here's the Dana, the college university student that we've been... That Well, she's not a university student anymore. She was, like, helping out with a research thing. Um, and that turned bad. And so now she's trying to fix it. Once we finally arrive at our destination, we see a number of people already there. Quite a few of them, too. And they're all wearing suits. They don't look like normal people just passing through. Looks like we can't get any closer. I guess it makes sense to mark this place as one we might come back to. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to remember all my voices and things. So please forgive me in this first video because I will likely have a hard time remember I might have a hard time remembering what's going on. I will quickly remember, I'm sure. Um, but it will also be hard for me to remember voices at times, I feel. Shit. Sotono's hiding in the shadows like Reina and me, and she tilts her head in confusion. Were those, where those flowers are is where I got hit by a car? That's what I was told. I see. Sodano looks like she doesn't quite believe it and looks around her. Do you remember anything? Even the smallest detail is fine. Like the make of a car, or the faces of people in the driver or the passenger seat. Ah, crap, I cut him off. Um... Sodano desperately tries to remember, but eventually she just shakes her head. I can't even remember coming to a place like this. Then what about that area sink? The first time I came here, there was an image file of the shrine addressed to me from you. Do you remember seeing anything else? So Sodano has been killed, and this is this version of Sodano is just a like a hologram, kind of. It's a compilation of her memories. But she can't remember anything about how she died. I said something like that? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Oh, she's so cute. I see. I'm sorry. I want to hear- I want to help you, Hiroka. But no matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to remember anything. 
Sarano's shoulders droop and Lumbena comes closer to her. We're the ones asking for the impossible here, so don't look so down. We're grateful you're trying so hard. I like Reina too. I like both of these characters. Reina chan. You're so kind. Reina and Sarano smile kindly at each other. It really would have been great if these two had met back when Sarano was still alive. That thought runs idly through my mind. But that doesn't change the fact that we're still in a deadlock right now. Time slowly passes by. What do we do? What's the best course of action now? I look at my MRD to check the time. That's kind of like my little phone-esque device. Like my... It's kind of like a PDA kind of thing. Huh? When I look at it, my heart starts to beat faster. Again. What's wrong? When Reina asks, I just show her my MRD. I got another one. Another area sync. There's the unmistakable notification on my MRD that I've received an area sync data file. But... Is this for me too? No. The sender is anonymous. Reina and Sorano look at each other. An anonymous sender. Has to have been someone who knew I'd come here. I feel a little apprehensive. I take a deep breath and bring up the image file I was sent. Ugh, God, I gotta chill. When I do so, we all see... That's Aoi. That's... Yes, that's Aoi back there. That is Sorano's older sister that has been helping us out. And she got a phone call mysteriously last time. And then we left her house and things went down. So... I, I had postulated that she might be, like, turning on us or trying to protect us, one of the two, but it looks like she may have been kidnapped. It's a picture of the inside of a room. The room's only dimly lit, but I can make out a few bookshelves lined up against the wall. In addition, I recognize the interior layout. This is the bookstore that's at the station. There's a few stores near Fuchu Station. One of them is a bookstore. I've been there a few times on my way back from school. Hey... Isn't this? Dana points to the center part of the picture. I can vaguely make out the shape of a person. Ah, shiza. I zoom in to get a better view, and realize the person is a woman, her eyes downcast. I strain my eyes to try and make out who it is, and when I recognize them, I let out an involuntary gasp. I can't make out her expression, but it's definitely her. It's Aoi san. Onicha! Let me see. Sodano and Reina look, both, both look at the picture in shock. Onecha! Is she trapped there? It does look like her hands and legs are tied up. They didn't hurt her, did they? God damn it, she's like the one helper we had. God damn it. And what happened to the others? We had so many people with us. We had, um, we had Harana, I believe her name was. That was with the police. And we had, um, I believe their names were Akane and... Emma were the two, like, um, others that were helping us that were part of a different organization. Um, I think that was their names. But we've had a lot of people helping us. And we have, uh, Kakazu, I believe his name was. Was it Kakazu? Um, was the bet was the friend that got injured? God, I can't, it's hard to remember these names. I'm sorry if I got any wrong. This picture isn't clear enough for us to be able to tell. I'd like to believe she's okay, but... They don't say anything, but I can tell Arena and Sodano are thinking about the worst case scenario. Yeah, jeez. We have to hurry up and save her. I mean, it could be a trap, you know? Like, I mean, if they're sending this, it's entirely possible. I exchange glances with Arena, and we both nod. Either way, we can hardly just sit here waiting for those men to leave. Even if we left for the station now, it would be the night. It would be night before we make it. I delete the picture and stand up. Wait! We're about to head off towards the station when Sodano calls out to us. Wouldn't it be dangerous for you guys to go? Hidoka? Adena chan? Well, yeah. It's almost certainly a trap. And I highly doubt they'll just return Aoi san if we walk up to them and ask nicely. But Aoi san's done so much for us that we can hardly just leave her to her fate. But. Besides, we don't really have any other leads, so we've got to take the aid. God, this game is so much darker than other games that I play, especially like other visual novels. Judging by Sodano's responses, there's no more information we can get out of here anyway. 
In, our, in that case, our only clue is this picture. It's obviously dangerous to jump headfirst into a trap like this, but at the same time, we might be able to get some information this way. We have to be prepared to make some sacrifices. I don't want to let the wishes you entrusted to me go to waste, Sodano. So even though it's dangerous, I want to go. I... I see. Sodano looks down, seemingly at a loss for what to say. Eventually, she looks back to us with a serious gaze. Promise me you won't do anything too reckless. Hirokun, Rena-chan, I believe we'll meet again. Man, Sodano's like the light in the darkness character. It's so depressing at times. I don't think it's possible not to be reckless. Besides, the amount of time Sodano has left is dwindling. Yeah, after a while, the memory compilation is just going to get erased. I can't remember how much time. It might have been like uh, 30 days or something. I Probably not. That's probably a terrible guess, but I can't remember how much. I can't even guarantee that we'll meet again. Got it. I promise. However, I make that promise regardless. Damn it. Because <sighs> I too hope that we can meet again. Remember, you promised. I'll see you later then. Oh gosh, does that mean we're not going to be able to keep that? Yeah. I look into Sodano's eyes and cut the connection. As Sodano's faint smile gets sucked into the MRD with the rest of her, I nod. Oh god. Yep, Reina, uh, Reina feels the same way I do. Uh, personally, I don't think it's a good idea to make promises you're not sure you can keep. I completely didn't even say that in her voice, I was just agreeing with it. Reina mutters quietly, but I pretend I didn't hear her say and say, let's go. Nothing more. Reyna also replies with a simple, yeah, and our conversation ends. Then Reyna and I head off towards the station. Oh, dearie me. <sighs> Alright, well, I think that is going to do it for me today, guys. This was a short episode, even if you consider in the update that I gave at the beginning. However, I am just kind of getting back into the swing of things, and I don't want to, I don't want to do too much. Um, plus, this looks like a good place to stop. Um, I want to keep the videos at a decent length. But so that is going to do it for me today, guys. Um, as I said at the beginning of this video, please look at the video I posted on Monday if you want to know about scheduling changes or if you want to know. Um, where I am and how things have been going recently. Um, so check back there. Also, you can check the about section of my YouTube channel and it'll give you my full schedule. As I said before, this game will be played on Wednesdays as of now. And so you can expect to see me here at the same time next week playing this game. So you can look forward to it there. As always, please leave your comments, your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section down below. I will always read them and I will always take them to account. And as always, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Memories Dogma Code 1. It's good to be back.